hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel today i'll show you how to transition from one screen to another screen using flutter so here i'll be implementing a button and when you click on the button it takes you to the next screen so let's get started um i'll be creating a new flutter application from android studio and when you click on this you can give your file name as navigation So it's setting up the project. So the application has built and um, you can see the default Flutter boilerplate code and the emulator also is running. Now I'm going to delete all these comments. and get rid of this floating button okay and here i'm gonna i'm gonna use this main dot dot just to launch my first screen so i'm gonna say main screen will be my first screen so it's gonna ask the main screen error is not appearing so what we can do is go to the lib create a new dot file named as main screen okay there you go and let's import this package yeah okay And in the main screen, also we'll import the package material dot package, and let's create a stateless widget with the name main screen. Okay. Now I'm sure the error must disappear. Okay. So now here we're gonna return the scaffold. Okay, now this screen I'm gonna just uh, design a button at the center of the page, and when you click on it, it navigates to a second screen. So the first thing is I'm gonna get an app bar. And I'm also going to prefix it with an menu button. So I'm going to say leading. leading icon button. We need this. So here we're going to reference the menu button so the icon package has a lot of default buttons so I'm gonna use menu and on pressed so at the moment I'm not going to define any functionality for the menu button so I'm just gonna leave it empty and then I'm gonna give a title the title is text I'm going to say this is my main screen and also I'm going to give a search icon at the end of the app bar so it's the same action button on pressed so I'm just going to copy this and instead of menu, I'm going to give search. That's right. So this is my art bar. 
then moving on to the body okay let's see how does it reflect on the okay there you go okay before that i want to change the color from blue to a custom color so i'm going to say primary color and i have a custom color so i'm just going to paste it glue the main dot and then get a hot reload yeah, there you go so that's the custom color i'm using and i also want to get rid of this ribbon debug ribbon so i'll go to the material app and i'm going to say debug show check mode banner and i'm going to set it to false and if you're hot reload okay so there you go so you have a menu bar you have a title and you have a search icon so our app bar is set next moving on to the uh, body section i just want to raise button with the text so i'm going to click body i'm going to type body and then i'm going to say it's going to be in the center it has a child called raised button okay and this raised button has another child called text and the text of this raised button is next screen and i can also give style some color the color of the text is let's go with white and okay that's it and then i'm gonna give the color of the button yeah i'm gonna change the color of the button matching the theme and on pressed i want to navigate to the next screen so to navigate to the next screen we are using navigator dot push okay so this is the context it ends with a semicolon so we have the context the next parameter is material page root Um, this has a builder context with the functional expression and, and give the second screen name since the second screen is not available let's highlighting it red so we will create the second screen here so create a new dot file so first thing import the package and create a stateless object i mean widget give it a name second screen 
and this just returns a scaffold and for that uh, we need to import the package in our main dot dot main screen dot dot so we can say second screen dot at the root the error has disappeared so moving on to the uh, second screen here we're just gonna create okay we're just gonna create an app bar so it's a simple page just displaying an app bar with the title second screen Just to identify that we have navigated to the second screen and uh, this has to be inside text okay there you go so we have a main dot dot where it launches the main screen and in your main screen you have an app bar with a title um, menu item menu icon the title and the search and it has a body where there is a raised button in the center with the text next screen and the text color is white and the button color is this one and when you click on the button it navigates to this second screen so the second screen uh, just dis just um, displays the app bar the text second screen so let's do a hot reload and check if it works okay so this is the main screen search and the title so when i click on next screen there you go i get the second screen and the back button so i don't even have to implement this back button it is automatically built 